Well, hello you guys. Welcome to the corner. We're at another end. And another beginning. So let's get this uh, episode started of Interview with Monster Girls, episode 12. <laughs> Oh, and guys, sorry about the monotone type voice and stuff like that, but I'm not feeling the greatest and my throat's really hurting, so I'm trying not to overstress my voice, so, yeah. Sorry guys, I decided to look it up and see what the original fun was going to go for. It was till this month, and it's the end of the month, and that means the 12th episode is the last episode of the season, at least for the first run, and I guess we get to see what ends up happening after this point if they got enough money to go on with the season 2. Throughout the whole season of Interview with Monster Girls, there was a lot that really touched home and made really emotional for this series in the first place. There's a lot that in turn ended up happening, and a lot that in turn ended up getting you to that point of almost coming to tears. I'm honestly really sad to see this episode end because I really wanted to uh, it continue on. Even though I, at first I was going to use this as a binge watch show, I ended up doing an episode by episode review of it, and it was great. It was perfect for exactly what I needed it for. And what I mean by that is, it would not have done the show justice for me to do a full Ben Drops review of this series. And this episode, Hakuri ends up going to the pool with the other Demis and, well, pretty much reserving the school's pool. And Taki ends up doing it uh, and inviting on the succubus as well. Saki not realizing that she has an effect on Taki when she undresses is pretty interesting to see because Taki's trying to hold back really bad but she seems to think that Taki is a little resistant to her charms which is not true at all and as you couldn't tell from a distance it affected a kid all the way back at the gate. Wrapping the series around back to the beginning where Taki and Hikari end up meeting and going through that situation, even though Hikari was just trying to get out of sending the truancy book to get out of after school. But we get to learn a lot more about Doll Hands and exactly why they have the whole situation of water, uh, running streams and everything like that because they don't want to lose their heads in the stream type of situation, but that's a different story for a different day. I've enjoyed the series beginning to end, and you guys have seen me enjoy it. I even jumped up to episode 11 thinking there was going to be a lot more coming to it because I didn't do much research when it really came down to the show itself. It saddens me that we are going to have to wait and see if they continue on with Interview with Monster Girls or not. And I will be doing some updates on that as I start doing a little bit more research on what ends up going on here. I myself hope they do get a second season because it, this anime was really amazing and it had a lot of great prospects to it. And I, if they make a, uh, another season, I would be completely on board and watch it from episode 1 till the end once again. Obviously, there's a lot of on. Uh, solved situations in this whole uh, anime series but obviously it does have a manga adaptation as well which means that they are more than likely a lot further along in the manga than they are in this anime itself which just a little bit of analysis here guys uh, at the very end they change up the uh, ending uh, song the outro of the whole anime from just a rainbow of colored pencils to now uh, Hikari and all the other Demi's pictures being colored in as time goes on. The symbolism of this is a lot different than mo most may think. Uh, when it really comes to the symbolism of this, it's pretty much showing that there is 
a lot that's been going on within season one that caused them from being these people that didn't really look like much at the beginning and coloring in as time went on at, and come, becoming a lot more than what we originally thought they were going to be. And I think that's a great representation of the show in general, uh, getting people to understand themselves and show them that they're more than what, it's, uh, what they are portrayed as. But then again, I could just be battling on about nothing. So, I should probably stop here in a bit, but that was the end of Interview with Monster Girl, so I'm going to have another episode by episode review in the spot by next week. So until the next time, you guys, hope you guys have a great day and a fun one as well.